Michael Conception was uh, was one of the main. Girl, he's in my video. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Not in the time when you when you guys came up, man. Uh, you came up in a time where uh, Michael Conception was uh, was one of the main. Girl, he's in my video. Yeah, talk to me about kind of how he ends up in your video, and talk talk to me about how it was just linking up with him. You know, well, you know, him and Hammer were like really good friends, and you know, he did. We're all in the same game. Yeah, kicking on the ab by a quarter to nine, all the homies getting blind in the eight ball line. We're all in the same game, and and you know, he was, and he actually was. Uh, he had Rome. He had, you know, he had a couple of. Can't think of some of the other acts, but he had his own acts. And he was promoting and doing that kind of stuff, and um, and I'm pretty sure that the reason why you know he, he invested money in us, wow. So that's why you know, every almost everybody invested money with that's a video. So they <laughs> they invested money into you and the Hammer Nim movement. Mm -hmm. So he was one that was a, a, a pretty much a guide, helped to try to promote what you guys were standing for at the time. Yeah, and and, and you have to realize that that's what I'm saying. Like you have to have legitimacy. You can't you know. You can't be a gangster group and not have legitimacy. You can't be, you, gotta, you know, you got to have people around you. Yeah. That you know are in the game. My God, my God. Could you pass? Wow. And, and stuff like that. And and the reason why, and the reason why um, he, he he wanted me to tell you this is because I did apologize. I did a thing where I apologized to kids. And I said, you know, I felt bad because here we are promoting. And I just got into it with a guy a little bit on Facebook about this. That they don't believe, he said, I don't believe kids look at um, you on television and want to be a gangster. And I told him, that's not true. Because you have to realize that the, the media is very powerful. And they was like, well, no, it was your environment. It's not always the environment. Because why do you have all these people that had mother and fathers at the house and went to church? Why are they, why, why they gangbanging? Why are they out there on the streets? Why are they selling dope? Why are they doing that? If that's not where, if that wasn't the environment that they were brought up in, they saw it from somewhere. Mm -hmm. They learned it from somewhere, and a lot of times the media did. And and you know, it didn't dawn on me until one of my cousins was like, "I was like, hey, I need you to get a job. I need you to go to church. You need to cut your hair. You got them dreads in your hair." And he told me straight up, "Nigga, I'm trying to be like you." Wow. And I was like, "But I went to college. I did. You know what I'm saying?" So. I realized, I said, well, I did all this so I can make money so that y'all could have a, you know, career, you can, you know, go to college, I make money, do this and that. And I had to apologize because I was saying that a lot of us, we don't really want to live like that. That's real. Most people want to have a decent, you know, you want to make money, but you want to, you know, and, and, and what I feel was sad is that because of the way society is, because we weren't really given chances being black, you know, black men. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Like I tell people, we we really do. We really owe reparations. I'm sorry, because no matter where you come from, social economic. I don't care what. I don't care. I don't care if you're a lawyer. When that cop car come running behind you, we all tense up. I don't That's care real. who you are. That's I don't care. Look, I have actually been. I had my license. It was good. My insurance was paid for. My tags was good. And man, cop come behind me, I tense up. Me too. <laughs> Sometimes you even We all do. You know, you be tripping like, oh did I drive straight enough? Oh my god, let me turn. And then sometimes you be Yeah, was I really speeding? You, yeah, like am I speeding too much? And then then you go, I wanna turn that corner right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I better not, because if I do, you probably be thinking I'm trying to avoid right, them. Yeah. That's a lot of stress. It is. I I gotta ask you, uh, Tone Loke. You knew Tone Loke. Yeah, yeah, I met him. You met him, like, mm -hmm. like, how was? Did you guys ever get to work together? You just no. met him. He was a part no, of. He actually, when I met Tone Loke, you know, I was it was after DRS. Um, I had a couple of people that were like, "Oh, you talk, your voice is like Tone Loke." Okay. And so, um, when I met Tone Loke, I met him because he was trying to tell me I needed to get into um, voiceovers. Because a lot of people don't know, you know, that's what Tone Loke made his money from voiceovers, and um, he was telling me about couple classes to take and stuff like that and um i was like you know what maybe i could do that yeah you know, but when i did try to do it the problem was i sounded too much like tone <laughs> because somebody told me we already got tone we don't need you 
<laughs> That's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you know, we already got a tone low. Did and you like his music and everything that he Yeah, did? I did, I did, I did. I, li- I, li- I liked him. Yeah. I liked him. He, was, he had you know, a good run. Yeah, he, well, you know, and he was a good He was a good guy, actually. Yeah, yeah. He was a good guy, actually. For him to take the time out to even think of, to even talk to you about that, because a lot of times, I guarantee you met some people that you probably ain't going to say their name, but that was not even like that, not even approachable. Well, you know, it's really a trip. Some of the biggest people come to me and freak out on me. What? Well, you know, some people that weren't famous. You know what? I forget. We were famous a long time before ago. Before everybody. We got famous before other people got famous. And roles were, you know, number one in England, number one in Australia, you know what I'm saying? Ireland. We got famous, famous. Songs dedicated to my homies. And, that- and so people come up to me that are real famous and go, oh my God, you're the guy from DRS. And like, oh my God, I heard you when I was a kid. And you know, my mama loved that song. And oh my God, that made me, when I seen, and what I love when they say, I seen you on there doing it. And I figure I can do that too. That's, all <laughs> That's what I love to hear that. It, but it's the people that aren't really big are the ones that act like they're big. Oh God. Those are the ones that have problems. Did you- yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.